Hi, I'm Dave Mulligan. You know, some of my very favorite memories from my childhood are road trips, when we load up the car and head out for an adventure. It's the first time on this show. Welcome to Great Getaways, Southern Oregon. In the southern end of the Rogue River Valley is the quaint town of Ashland. With Lithia Park at its center, it's a nature lover's paradise. Ashland's claim to fame, however, is the world-renowned Oregon Shakespeare Festival. When we come back, we'll get on stage and behind the curtain. Huzzah! Great Getaways Southern Oregon is brought to you by members of the Southern Oregon Visitors Association. We're here now in Martino's, which apparently is the place to come after the plays here in Ashland at the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. This is Kate, star in one of the plays that's running. Kate, what play are you? Well, first of all, we don't say star. It's an ensemble piece. An uh, ensemble. Right now I'm in uh, Sorry. the Language Archive in the new theater. Where we are now is the very heart of the Language Archive, a 500-strong collection of priceless tapes and recordings. Are you an actor or an actress? Uh, I call myself an actor. You can feel so sad. It begins to feel like happiness. You don't say doctress or lawyeress. It's a doctor, a lawyer, an actor. And she's also a comedious dress. <laughs> so a lot of times you're doing two plays at once, sometimes three, while you're also understudying one, sometimes two plays. Founded in 1935, the Tony Award-winning OSF is among the oldest and largest theaters in the country. With three stages, the company will present more than 750 live performances, some Shakespeare, some contemporary, and even musicals. A face you're sure to recognize from television and in films like Silence of the Lambs is Tony Heald, a regular player here in Ashland who's certainly at home on the stage. Impartial. Be you judge of your own cause. Whoa. The reason I'm an actor, one of the reasons I'm an actor is I love to solve problems. I'm a puzzle solver. I look for the clues and, and gradually build behavior that underscores and illustrates the text and tells the story. Find be really interesting, evocative, illustrative behavior. I mean, for this Measure for measure, I, I read 40 books and you know, I, I researched it for four months, five months. And then you've got 250 hours of rehearsal to go through it. This disturbing guy is not to walk in. It's nice to play a villain. It really is because you can enter into an imaginative space that you really can't enter into in your own regular life. And uh, it kind of purges you. For the first time, I'm working in the new theater, which is a, a reconfigurable space that can go from full round to alley to three quarter. You know, it's very adjustable. So it's a very innovative production, very much involving the audience. You can talk with the audience two, three times a week. And it's great because it's not like talking to one individual. You've got a group that may have a, a variety, that will have a variety of opinions. Oh, so you think Lucio and Isabella yeah, should yeah, get together? No, I, like it. I think you and Isabella. Oh, thank oh, you. And so you really get a sense of what's coming across to the audience. I'm more satisfied as an artist here than I've ever been in my life. There's no place that I've ever worked where you get the support that you get here. There are no audiences that I've ever performed for that are like the audiences here. You don't need to go to New York, you don't need to go to Chicago, you don't need to go to London or Los Angeles. All you need to do is come to Ashland, Oregon, and you will see some of the finest theater you have ever seen in your life. Encore. Encore. No visit to Ashland is complete without a visit to Applegate Valley and jumping on the Applegate Wine Trail. These are Cabernet vines planted back in the 70s and about to burst forth with more Cabernet just like this. Just minutes beyond the historic town of Jacksonville, the Applegate Valley is home to more than 18 wineries. Its fertile soil and mild climate are perfect for a vineyard. 
What started with just a few tiny wineries has grown into an important wine growing region, producing a diverse range of high quality wines. It really makes people have a really exciting time to try lots of different wines, great values, similar wines and a similar wine tasting uh, quality experience that they're used to really anywhere on the West Coast. We have the largest concentration of wineries in Southern Oregon, so you can hit a lot of different wineries and we have such a diverse selection of wines that you can try 10 or 12 different wine varieties in as little as two or three different wineries. So you get a lot of different uh, diversity. Really the, the true thing is that the quality across the board and the value is some of the best you're going to find anywhere in the world. Just 15 minutes north of Ashland is the city of Medford, an eclectic and diverse launching pad for your exploration of Southern Oregon, starting with world famous Harry and David. We've always been great for holidays, we're always great for gift giving, but one of the things you'll notice on our catalog online and in our stores is we're really about easy entertaining. So not only do you want to give it as a gift, but it's something that you want to keep around the house because we can make your life a lot easier. We're really taking Harry and David and that brand and we're taking ordinary products and we're making them extraordinary and easy for you to use in your uh, own home. Uh, Centennial Golf Club is pretty fortunate. We've been uh, voted the, the best golf course in the Rogue Valley the last several years. We really feel we've done a great job on the condition of the golf course, the design of the golf course. It's just a fun test uh, in a great area. Being right on I-5, we get a lot of people from, uh, from the Bay Area coming through here, and uh, they're really surprised at our fees. Uh, they're, they're very reasonable for comparing the fees that are in the Bay Area. So it's a great value, and they'll have a wonderful time on the course. You know, golf is always a nice way to add to your, to your extended stay. You know, one of the things that's really unusual about the Rogue River watershed is we've just recently, within the past few years, had three dams removed. So, you know, with the dam removals, the water temperature's dropping a little, the fish are getting healthier, the salmon and steelhead runs are going to start looking better, and I mean, everything's just looking up for the overall health of the watershed. And if we have a healthier river, everything around it's going to be healthier from the recreation to the people, and you know, who doesn't love diving in a pristine river when it's a hot and toasty summer day? We didn't have a lot of vineyards or wineries back 25 years ago, but in the last 10 years especially, we've seen the numbers of vineyards being planted and wineries being started here really uh, just multiply. And so we're very fortunate being in the hub of the Rogue Valley here in, in the center of Medford. We're yet a very young emerging region, and so people have a chance to discover us here. You know, we're not world renowned. You know, that's the truth of it. We want to be, but I think it, it'll, it'll take time. And in the meantime, the visitors here really get to experience us much like they got to experience Napa in the 1960s and early 70s. Somewhat rural in flavor, yet thoroughly modern, Medford is a growing town that not only embraces its wine roots, but also its historic railroading past. In my opinion, you know, 100 years ago, public buildings were sort of a respite from everyday life. You know, you might live in a modest situation, but you could come to a great public building, a federal building or a railroad station, and feel like you had a little touch of the elegance that maybe the upper classes did. The buildings were so beautifully constructed, and, they, and you go to the Grand Central Station or some of the great public buildings in America, and you feel good when you're there. This building to me is that way. We fell in love with it instantly, and our business plan went out the window, you know, you fall in love with the structure and couldn't wait to do a concept. What we try to do here at Schmidt is combine the gardening, uh, flowers, botanicals with our wine. Each one of our wine bottles has a uh, herb on it that we feel pairs with the food that pairs with the wine. And uh, we just try to keep a botanical theme here. People love to come out and see the gardens and it just makes it a very pleasant place to be with a glass of wine. The Applegate Wine Trail is, is such that if you really want to do it justice, you, you, you would probably have to spend a couple days out here. There are so many excellent uh, wineries and excellent wines and every winery is, is unique and different and people when they come out here they, they should plan on spending uh, getting out here sometime around noon and spend the afternoon out here do a few wineries and then we get done with the wine tasting for the day Jacksonville is a great place to go eat.